Hello viewers, and welcome to my Clash 37 review. Now then, this box arrived today, and what you'll find is, it's a Clash 37. Now then, I'll remove the box. This is what was the locomotive that was actually in the box. It is a Clash 37, but it's a real stinker. Now then, as you can see, I have another Barkman one there, which is a Direct Rail Services, a DRS. Um, it's a lovely locomotive. But this was the one that arrived in that box, 37414. As you can see, the um, it arrived damaged. And as you can see, the horns are missing on that. The horns should look like that one there. Now then, the good thing with this was, it was advertised as a sound locomotive. So we're going to give that a go. I'm going to put it on the track and we're going to hear what sounds are available. Right, there she is on the track. I'm going to start her up. Um, the realism is outstanding on this model. And of course, I'm going to try the horn. Oh, bloody marvellous. Frightened me a bit there. Now, let's give it a little movement. Oh, so I'll try some lights. There they go. Look at that. Bloody beautiful. Oh, it's going the wrong bloody way. Oh, no. oh look at that. Try it the other way. Now then, this is, I'm starting to smell something. Well, we'll have to give it um, a bit of a run around the circuit, this uh, 37. I'm not sure if you could pick that up, viewers, but it seems to be smoking. I'm not sure what type of engine this has. It might be the old style engine, you know, the old the Ringfield motor. I don't think so, though. I'm not sure. I'm not really into the app on my motors. But I've tried it. Um, it went like the clappers, to be honest with you. And it got faster. And, and then all of a sudden, it's, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just producing all this bloody smoke. Oh, oh blimey. Yeah, oh, I think this will have to be going back to the shop. It shouldn't do that, should it, viewers? I mean, I'm not an expert or nothing, but, you know, smoking? I'm not too sure. To be honest with you, I quite like the effect. It looks like I've got a steam loco. But of course we know deep down it's not real steam. It's um it's the damn things on fire because it's cheap and tatty. Which is a shame, but uh, <laughs> oh, oh blimey, I'm gonna set off the smoke detection in here. Anyway, I'm gonna get my money back and there's no doubt about this. I can't be having this. What a load of rubbish. It is um awful to be honest with you. Yes. Oh, blimey. Oh. It's just absolutely awful, I'll be honest with you. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do a few more review videos when the uh, my other locomotives arrive. As you can see, I've got a lovely Class um, 67 here. EWS. Look at that, viewers. That's quality right there. That doesn't smoke. Um, that's a beauty, yeah, look at that, are you getting that viewers, are you getting that, top quality there, now, oh jeez Louise, look I've got to go, this house is going to be on fire in minutes, oh, yeah, welcome back viewers, I, I, I found out what was wrong with it, the engine was burning out, the motor rather was burning out, um, it's dead now, completely dead, the whole thing won't work, um, uh, 
so anyway, thirty nine ninety nine for the TTS decoder, and um, I paid one hundred ninety six pounds for the train and an extra seventy six for the weathering. Now, I'm not really happy with the weathering. Um, somebody snapped the horns off. They said to make it look more realistic, but I don't, but don't believe that. Um, yeah, it's a dreadful weathering. I think some somebody's got hold of a load of um, acrylic paints and just brushed it on, stuck it in a box, and uh, and ripped me off. To be honest with you, but you know, I'll leave I'll leave positive feedback on eBay because you know it did arrive on time. And as you can see, it's uh, not a bad loco, is it? It's worth at least, you know, I don't know, really. Because I paid um, 150 for this one here. This camera is shit, isn't it? Absolute shit. Uh, I paid um, 157 for this one. And it's a bloody good loco, that one, really great. Kingsmore TMD. Um, but this one, which seemed, I'm not sure, this was more expensive, is, um, it's an absolute pig of a motor. It smokes when you switch it on. The sound is bloody awful. And um, it's set fire to my curtains. Anyway, we'll leave it there, shall we? Say no more. Say no more. Or as we say in the train business, uh, rest assured. <laughs> anyway, take care, viewers. Take care now. Uh, links in the description below for um, for this one if you want to buy it. I am putting it on eBay for £685. See if I can turn a profit. Bye.